All right, so just to demonstrate this, I have a Sakura that's MLB right now, and she is 191k attack. Mommy Modernia is 219k attack. So plus or minus, Modernia has about 10% more attack than my uh, Summer Sakura. And here's the thing though, my Summer Sakura has a bunch of elemental damage and I only have 5% attack. Modernia, she only has like 20% attack and about 100% max ammo and here's the thing so the boss is weak against iron so basically both summer sakura and modernia are gonna do neutral damage on this boss so just to portray her how sakura is actually performing so let's give this an example so let's start to burst here i have to switch to modernia just to i can destroy the parts do some mechanics can i destroy the parts oh, okay there we go and i'm gonna swap here so I'm gonna do this in a two burst, two burst rotation. With this parts, with two parts, the thing about Summer Sakura is you need to get like, I have her set as 5, 10, 10, and the five level five is actually good because it gives me 7.7 .7 seconds every time I destroy an enemy part. And the thing about it is since this skill to only has 15 seconds uh, trigger, you want this skill to kind of help you out with the duration and your goal is to basically destroy two parts two boss parts every 30 seconds which i think like there's a good number of boss that does spawn about uh, that much parts every 30 seconds so it's not like she's completely gonna be useless and and very there's very niche like boss there's gonna be other bosses where it constantly spawns like say chatterbox for example altaizen right now ultra is actually sort of like that also so here is the buff right now that i have with her it shows full glory here it's uh, translated kind of wrong so it, but you can see here full glory here uh 15.64 uh 15.64 so that's that's what it looks like right now so here's what's gonna happen though once this 30 second pass passes it's gonna trigger that full glory at the left side and then now it refreshes my full glory again so now i have like uh, another set of 15 seconds and this is gonna be useful for us so because see now the boss just respawned again the other parts but as you can see right now within that first 30 seconds i have a full uptime of summer sakura's attack damage buffed her skill too basically and her damage is basically almost close to modernia and again this is also with my summer sakura with less overload attack percentage she yeah she only has five percent attack that's relevant to this boss the elemental damage doesn't really help me and then for modernia it's actually helping her she has 20 percent attack and 100 percent and also has 10 percent attack higher base so because uh, she has 219k i have like 191 something k uh attack here so if we have a higher uh, invested summer sakura she would even deal more and she's yeah she would definitely overtake modernia in like even investments right now she is pretty much on for me in a competitive level for solar raid and she does like this is a standard team right you guys know litter blanc noir and modernia is pretty much like almost a staple and Blanc and Noir is almost like a combination of Rosanna. So imagine like if we have Rosanna here, she would actually even probably perform better too. Let's, I'm gonna continue this, but I might have to stop soon because uh, I am keeping this boss alive and he's about to die. Actually, he's, he's fine right now. Okay, uh, destroy the parts. I just have to watch the HP of the boss right here and she did burst so yeah she does come out a little bit of head if it's she bursts but let's burst with noir okay so here's the thing okay this is probably the tough part so the boss just respawned the parts right now on summer sakura and i don't want to destroy it immediately the reason for that is because see there's this full glory here that's like seven seconds left right at 
the two minute mark, she's gonna re reset the full glory at 15 seconds. But the thing is, here's the downside. If we try to have, like, say, destroy, uh, can I destroy it in time? I don't, uh, okay, never mind. I, I couldn't destroy it in time because I was, uh, Modern was reloading. But the downside here is the every 30 seconds is that that's a refresh. So you want to time your parts destruction to be at least like after that 30 second timer would trigger and then this skill would trigger because there's a cooldown of 30 seconds here. So it triggered there and then that's when I want to destroy it. So that way I can have like a really good uptime on her oh, and do mechanics a little bit here on her burst. When it, oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, okay. I had to alt up for there because <laughs> I, I, I still wanted that boss to be tested. So I had to alt up for, I, did, I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, um, I hope you guys get the idea that I wanted to destroy the parts only after it refreshed. And that way I can keep a low level of skill one to do that i'll try to demonstrate it where if i try to destroy the parts ahead of time it would actually um mess up the timer the skill two rotation because again you want it to refresh first before you start destroying so that to to extend your timer unless obviously the boss constantly respawns parts then if the boss constantly respawns parts then that's not a bad thing but then some of these bosses like say like i showed you it was ultra he only spawns it at very specific times and so your parts distraction might have to be a little bit more involved in it but if the boss constantly respawns parts then that's like one option right so to give an example is to use it like with with altizen altizen constantly respawns parts at the very big at phase one so, all right, let me try to demonstrate it again better here. Okay, I destroyed the parts. I'm going to pause here and see once I destroy the parts right now. So I'm on the first 30 seconds of the fight. I have a full glory of 25 seconds right here. So now let's do this. I'm going to just do some mechanics here. Uh, fast charge here. So as we're reaching the 30 second marker here 32 seconds so i still have three seconds of full glory and i'm gonna refresh take a look at the left side full glory skill to activate and then now we have the full glory refresh at 14 seconds i'm gonna try to destroy these parts okay so i tried to destroy these parts another set of 30 seconds on full glory well um it, yeah, 22 seconds left, but uh, that's because time has passed since the 30 second marker. So it's going to time it properly, but uh, I think I'm going to have enough time where the boss is going to spawn parts again. And so I'm going to do that bad mistake that I talked about where I will destroy the parts first right here. So I destroyed the parts first. So now let's see. See how my full glory has 11 seconds here. Uh, actually let me do that again let me see sorry and yeah full glory has 18 seconds here and i'm about to reach the 30 second timer so take a look at this 30 second timer full glory trigger again and now take a look it's 15 seconds so i had 18 seconds before but then like it triggered it lowered down and basically we got we lost the extra 15 seconds that from the parts destruction because the every 30 seconds all this does is it does refresh it doesn't add on top of it so you do have to control depending on the boss like i said it depends on the boss um you might have to control when you destroy the parts at least like you have to wait at least until after that 30 second marker and that way you can upkeep that really high uptime on her skill too to give you guys an idea a uh, skill two with a really high uptime is really really good if you don't have the boss doesn't have any parts she actually loses a lot of damage like we're talking about like almost close to 
50% of her damage is lost just because we don't have parts to uptime. To give you guys a little bit of an idea though, at raw performance, she actually is a little bit better than Scarlet. If you can upkeep this uptime for the parts, she would get closer to like Moderna's damage right now. And so this is also another, just to give you an example, how scuffed it would be if you did end up not having any parts. So this was the damage difference between Sakura and Moderna if there is no parts how she was matching Moderna if there's parts, but then if there's no parts, she takes a huge hit. Just a word of caution if you do want to like end up like using her. Actually, in this screenshot, uh, just to give an idea also, I was actually using, she had 185k attack. Uh, I didn't like max her ammo, like limit break just yet. And Scarlet was actually at 219k attack with core 7. So to give another idea uh, how much she is outperforming Scarlet even at lower core already. And yeah, I didn't upgrade my gears. Uh, but uh, the gears like matter a little bit less in higher levels because I'm level 501. But still, nonetheless, that's an MLB performance versus Core 7. I understand you, you guys might say, oh yeah, that's not, they're stuck with Summer Anise, right? You do have to realize that there are some situations or there are some, there were some times where we did use like Scarlet on the bunny team, like say like Crystal Chamber because we needed like electric across around the team. So there was like that one time. And I, I mean, again, to be fair, when are we going to start like considering when we should use one unit over the other? It's likely going to be on elemental advantage. But from what it looks like at the very least, the base performance on neutral damage is pretty good. And then so it's going to be even better if we do have proper elemental overloads on her, which uh, I did on my summer sakura now i do have like 60 percent elemental and attack and then so speaking of which just to give you guys a tldr on how to build her is basically attack and elemental are both high priority and the good thing about it is they're the most priority and you don't really need that the other ones to if you want to min max a little bit more the third stat that is good is crit rate slash crit damage but you don't need ammo because majority of her damage comes from her skills and those skills don't really need ammo reason and a bunch of her damage come from her burst skill also upgrade these and the way I would skill her up is for me, I would probably keep it like at skill one at level five ish. Now, obviously for other people, more damage. I mean, the, the main thing that you're getting from skill one is more flexibility on other bosses. Let's say like the boss doesn't have that much parts, like he doesn't spawn two parts every 30 seconds. Then in that's maybe like one, only one part every 30 seconds, then that will give you a better uptime on your skill too. And then like the sustained damage is also, you know, just a little bit of extra damage, right? Like that's 30 seconds buff. That's kind of how I see the skill one, but I will just keep it at level five for me because I'm like, you know, I'm saving. Uh, but for other people, you know, whales probably you can max it out. Skill two is pretty good. Um, if you have to choose between the skill two and the burst, although they're different resources to give you an idea the skill 2 is about like giving you like about 2% or 2.5% per level uh yeah depending on say if when i was using crown i was getting like 5% every 3 levels damage increase but like when you remove crown which has attack damage then her the skill 2's attack damage effect that's from here is a lot more efficient so you can get up to eight percent every three levels i'm doing it every three levels because plus four plus seven and plus ten and then the burst is uh 
you get the biggest damage increase on it i would say more than eight percent eight nine percent at least like three percent four percent per level so the biggest damage increase is the burst so if i have to go with minimum four seven seven i would say ideal would probably be between four seven to ten and then ten so that that one is gonna be up to you actually sorry i would go five so that would be the skill recommendation that i would go and in terms of cube i didn't really give it much thought can be your highest level cube i think i'll just go with that i yeah i didn't give it too much thought but i mean she does still some damage from her basic attacks so like it's not like max ammo is like extremely bad so i guess you can use resilience or bastion i would go with just your highest leveled if you're using bastion then you'll go with bastion if you're using resilience i would go with resilience how about quantum i think quantum is fine too yeah quantum is good because of just you know you're getting more more burst gauge uh and if you're not using any team that does that's like fast charging then that's like an option in terms of teams the biggest buffer for her is gonna be litter like crown is the biggest buffer also for burst too but like it's you know we're gonna be using crown on other teams right but litter is really really good on her as a buffer and again the, the reason is also because she does really want these attack buffers she doesn't have attack buff on her own and she has really good attack multiplayer over 8000 uh final attack on the burst and then like 256 percent um triggering every second on her skill too those are huge 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 attack multipliers so you definitely want attack buffers and the team i did show you one which is like the blanc and noir team there there might be a point where if you don't want to burst because we don't want to burst with noir right like we could totally do this and maybe like say like use maxwell i could totally see this something this is actually a good team also and you're bursting with maxwell and and her and then she scales really well with attack buffers so that's like a good thing about it if you can somehow make it so that maxwell will end up buffing her which might be a tough tall task for other people especially if their noir is like fairly high invested and yeah that good luck with that boys if you want to kind of try to do it you're gonna have to match her core also or just get a lot of, a lot of attack percentage and remove some of attack percentage from noir so that like maxwell will end up buffing her and if not, then, I mean, there's also Ludmilla. I mean, you can totally take that also. The other team, obviously, that uh, I was talking about earlier is the Rosanna team. So you can totally use that too, Rosanna team. And then if you end up needing a healer, then Helm would be good. Otherwise, like, I would go with Maxwell. And same dilemma as when we were using with Noir. Hope that Maxwell will end up buffing your Summer Sakura. Overall, what is my thoughts on her? one i think she will be core in wind dps wind element team just like looking at her numbers right now if she can definitely reach modernia levels especially when she can actually upkeep this skill too then that's actually really promising especially given how we have been using modernia in a lot of teams right like in a lot of situations so if she can get to Moderna's levels of damage, I think she will be core in those situations. But yeah, she's insane. Um, I'm gonna contemplate long and hard to figure out if I need to pull more of her. Should I core 7 or not? Uh, yeah, I'll see. I'll, I'll have to see. I am leaning towards yes because she is a limited unit. But ask future Sky. Hey Sky, did you core seven her? Yeah, ask me uh later. Oh Mr. Cut, are you here? I don't know. How's yours looking? Or do you have like no You decided to core seven? I think that's the, I think I think we got our answer, chat. I think I I think you got your I I think that's our answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's like that's like okay you guys are wondering should you pull mr kato decided to core seven there you go